A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, September 15th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. In the last two years, 10 people have jumped to their deaths from the five bridges over the Hudson River, operated by the New York State Bridge Authority, and another person jumped from the walkway over the Hudson, also under the jurisdiction of the Bridge Authority. State lawmakers gathered on the waterfront in Peekskill yesterday to urge the state agency to move forward with installation of climb deterrent fencing. Senators Pete Harcum and James Scoofus are among those pushing for that, and Scoofus says approval could come soon. The New York State Bridge Authority has done some work over those two years. They've done engineering, they've done some public scoping, and just this month on September 21st, on their monthly board meetings agenda, is they will be voting on whether to move forward with the installation of fencing on their passings. Harkham said studies have shown that climb to turn fencing can prevent up to 90% of the deaths by suicide from people on bridges. The Jewish New Year holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur begin at sundown tonight, and the faithful from around the region and world will be attending synagogue. With the rise in bias-related crimes around the country in recent years, there will be security at houses of worship, says Rabbi Abe Friedman, the law enforcement chaplain in Ulster, Duchess, and Orange Counties. The state police, uh, the county sheriffs, and are working with the local police department to make sure that there are visibility, proper coverage, extra patrol all over uh, the areas where there's houses of worship and community centers and large uh, shopping areas, again, to make sure that there is a smooth holiday season and a safe one. This past week, Jewish leaders met with Orange County D.A. David Hoover and his staff to discuss safety during the holidays. Sullivan County had the highest number of new jobs in the Hudson Valley Catskills in August, with 4% growth, while the Dutchess Putnam area lost 2.2% of its jobs, according to the State Labor Department. Ulster County had a job growth of 1.1%. Goshen Public Library and Historical Society trustees have voted to recognize a union collective bargaining unit that was requested by library staff. This followed a series of discussions between the library and the union that were intended to define which employees would be eligible for union membership. The new bargaining unit is part of the Civil Service Employees Association, which represents both public and private workers in the state. Both library officials and union leaders indicate they look forward to a mutually beneficial relationship. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The Association of Graduates at West Point will present their Thayer Award to Elizabeth Dole during ceremonies Thursday, September 21st. Dole has served as a U.S. Senator, a cabinet member for two presidential administrations, and the president of the American Red Cross, She became interested in public service as the assistant to the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare in 1967. Past recipients of the Thayer Award, established in honor of Colonel Sylvanus Thayer, father of the Military Academy, include Dwight D. Eisenhower, Douglas MacArthur, Bob Hope, Neil Armstrong, Barbara Jordan, Walter Cronkite, Colin Powell, Madeleine Albright, Henry Kissinger, and former President George W. Bush. State Senator Rob Rollison, the city of Poughkeepsie's former mayor, and Senator James Scoofus visited Poughkeepsie yesterday to deliver state funds to community-building organizations. Republican Rollison represents District 39. Scoofus, a Democrat, represents District 42. They said the bipartisan visit is an example of how to work well together for the benefit of their districts. In announcing $160,000 of funding for various programs, 
The two senators also explained their working relationship. Scoofus noted working across party lines is the best way to get things done. Our constituencies expect that we come to the job with that perspective. Of the $160,000 in grant funding, $60,000 went to the City of Poughkeepsie Police Department, $50,000 to Family Services for the SNUG program, and $20,000 each for Rebuilding Our Children in Community and Boys and Girls Club of Poughkeepsie. Just one day after a City of Poughkeepsie police officer was rushed to the hospital for treatment of a fentanyl exposure overdose, Police in the area are doubling down on efforts to arrest dealers selling the deadly fentanyl. Members of the Dutchess County Drug Task Force and City of Poughkeepsie Police arrested a 37-year-old alleged fentanyl dealer in Poughkeepsie 25 hours after the city cop was exposed while making a drug arrest. On Thursday afternoon, task force members located Poughkeepsie resident Michael Graham in Pershing Avenue Park and arrested him on two felony counts of criminal possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell, with additional charges pending. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.